Arsenal fan team. I've got to ask you about it first of all, that Park Life vine. Trust me, it is brilliant. Mate, it's, it's, a top, it's a top quality interview, but I speak from the heart and I, I don't try to act like I'm something I'm not. I speak from the heart and it just come out how it was on the day. It was it. Now, speaking but, from the heart, what did you make of today? I mean, today, we were struggling. Today, we I don't understand Wenger's mentality. Eight days before our next game and he makes four or five changes. It's not needed. It's a big game. It's an opportunity to get to an FA Cup final and we scrape through. It's not good enough, really. All right. People like Sanchez, they've worked their bollocks off all year, they get their luck on games like today. And luckily we have players like that too, who've got that bit of quality when it matters. And we got lucky today. But give Reading their full credit. I've seen a side there today that give their full, absolute best. And their fans can hold their heads up high and say our team played well. And Arsenal fans can also say we got lucky. <laughs> But it's an opportunity for another bit of silver at the end of the season. It's a bit like last year, isn't it? We came, we was all like, yeah, you know, Wigan counting up before how many we're going to score. Same again today, but both games. I mean, it shows in the FA Cup, you cannot take any team for granted. I totally agree. I, I was one of them fans today who thought it would be a matter of how many we score, but... You have, you have to give up, you have to give Reading a bit of credit. They didn't just come down and say right, try and try and beat us. They give us a game. And but Arsenal today we was we was too relaxed. It was like it was like we had the mentality that we would beat them. It was just a matter of how many. But in the FA Cup, any game of football, you can't take any team as it is on paper. At the end of the day, Reading are a half decent side with Premiership players in their side, and you have to give them credit where it's due. But Arsenal. If we play like that in the final, we're going to get steamrolled because it just wasn't good enough. There, there was too who, who do you fancy in the final? Personally, I, I would like Liverpool because Arsenal will raise their game to a team who are going to give us a footballing match at the end of the day. But let's be honest, Villa or Liverpool, they're going to both be a difficult side. Villa have been our bogey team for years and now to beat us, it's not be. It's not getting around the facts. Yeah, we smashed them 5 0 earlier in the season. Yeah, but do you remember like, the year before that they'd done a 3 1 at home and they started the Exodus yeah, of England? One off. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a one off. They know how to beat us, but at the end of the day, there's an opportunity to win a bit of silverware, and it's just hope we do it because mm. we're a team on the up now and it's just going to attract better players. And the way we're playing at the moment, we're grinding out results when, it, when we're playing poor. So let's just hope that we can steamroll. On, to, on the way to the final and then say, right, yeah. bring it on and take this bit of silverware home for a second year in a row. Went in, I started dancing, you know, shock. I was just dancing, you know. I was like, oh, you know, because it was quite tense, you know. I was busy tweeting, I'm like, why didn't Vanga stick to your formation? Because I saw a formation on Twitter mm. and you didn't make more changes. But when you changed the two fullbacks, it affected us really bad. And, but thank God we pulled through, we pulled through.